In 2011, I went back to Washington, D.C. to clean up some affairs. While I was there, my daughter Naomi was on a period of speaking to me. So we got together, and among the other things we talked about was dating. Well, she was an attractive young girl of 29, single, and I suggested, have you ever tried speed dating? Which she hadn't. So I proposed that I would be her wingman and we could go together to professionals in the city for an evening of speed dating. She could check it out, see if it was interesting. We were separated into two groups, under 35 for her, over 35 for me. In our group, there were four tables, each with eight places. And seated around these tables were eight chairs, four of them occupied by ladies who stayed in the same place all night, 16 ladies all together. We guys moved. Every four minutes, we would rotate around the table. So that's 16 minutes um, of conversations with those four. And then we got up and switched tables. So in the course of the evening, we had 16 conversations of about four minutes apiece. The way it works, men and women write down the numbers of the people. We're all identified by number that interests them and where there's a match, the boys and girls are mutually attracted, ding, ding, the organizers will send you contact information so you can get together and see where it goes. Now, I say that this was my only successful speed dating event because this is how it went. I opened up by saying, I'm married and I have a child on the way which immediately disarmed the ladies. Whew. I don't have to put up a pretense. I don't have to be who I'm not. He is not available. And they were curious. Now, how did a guy, obviously a little bit older, wind up in a position of being married with a child? So I told them my story and they were interested. So that was successful. And I'll say that that secret of success is something that Luda shared in her speed dating, she talked about Toastmasters. Didn't talk about her life's ambition, didn't talk about it. She talked about Toastmasters and the self-improvement available through Toastmasters. Get the subject away from romance, pairing up and so on, talk about something interesting. And you present yourself in a good light. And I think that that's a secret. There's a perverse part of human nature that if you look needy, if you need something, people are suspicious. I don't want people who are too, too needy. But if you look like you have everything you want in life, then they're curious. Oh, it looks like this guy has his stuff together. They'll come to you. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. That's how it works. So you should look rich. Now, modern life makes the process of meeting a potential partner especially difficult. Compare it with your great-grandmother's day. But living back in the village, you knew everybody because you went to church with them, you worked alongside them, you um, went shopping in the same place they did. You had village festivals where you met them. You always look out of the corner of your eye to see somebody the opposite sex. That's natural. But you weren't forced together. In fact, you had village elders trying to say, mm -hmm, look good, huh? So it was a more natural setting. But now our lives are so compartmentalized. We have our work compartment where I worked. They didn't want you to date other people at work mess made the work less efficient and you have your sports club where you know, basically the focus is on sports i don't think people meet there very often and you have your hiking club or whatever else and you have your vacation where you go and then you have your dating sites and when you show up at a dating site you are 
wanting. You are there because you want something. And that's not a good thing to advertise. Being hungry, being needy. All that said, the good thing about speed dating is that at least you get to see them. It's cheap. You get to meet 16 people for the price of admission. What a deal. And you get to see them in person. So you get to see their hair, their skin, their gestures and all of that, which is important. Compare that with a dating site such as Tinder where all you see is a photograph and their description of their age and so on. And uh, Photoshop makes it pretty easy to dispense with an excess 20 kilos or an excess 20 years if you work at it. So speed dating is a more honest approach. So I kind of like it for those reasons. Let's compare with the others. Tinder, to me, at least in the United States, is just bodies getting together for an evening. Uh, not very good at all. There are some dating sites like eHarmony and so on that are supposedly better. There's one that I will mention by name because it is expressly for people who want to get together and get married. I don't know if that's who's there, but whitedate.net. The thing I like about it is that they're unabashed. They say white people should meet white people. Well, as a refugee from two marriages with people of other races, I'll say, what a good idea. Men understanding women is hard enough. Understanding another race, another culture is very difficult. WhiteDate.net. A lot of uh, Americans, a lot of French and Germans here. Another thing that I would recommend that you check out here in Kiev is Fridays. Spelled F-R-Y-D-A-Y. It's a social group that gets together on, guess what, Friday nights for socializing, for cocktail chatter and so on. Also made up of a lot of expatriates. So I'd recommend that you get your wingman and go there and check it out. The thing I like about speed dating in Fridays is that you get to see people in person. Ian Fleming had a chapter titled Propinquity Propinx. Propinquity means being close to somebody, being close. And that's absolutely what it takes because the magic of personal relations comes of seeing, talking to, being with somebody, like here at Toastmasters, and there have been quite a few marriages come out of this Toastmasters club. Propinquity Propinx. So whatever you're doing, get out there and meet people. Get away from your computer, get to meet people in person, and see what you can do. And speed dating is one of those things you could try, and you may or may not meet the woman of your dreams, the man of your dreams. But the other thing you do is you build a circle of acquaintances. So maybe you can build an acquaintance with people who will have parties, who will introduce you to other people, and that's really the way it works is people introducing people, people working together. Madam Toastmaster.